Welcome back to Hannity. So a speculation swirls about Hillary Clinton's health. Today, the Drudge Report had a headline saying, quote, 59% say release medical records. What's wrong with her? So why won't the mainstream media talk about this story? And will the Clinton campaign release Hillary's full medical records? Joining us now from the Fox News Medical A-Team, medical correspondents, Dr. Mark Siegel and Dr. David Samadhi, and former 2016 GOP presidential candidate, Dr. Ben Carson. Dr. Carson, um, I'll show you the different examples. She's falling. You've got this sort of twitching thing that she does in front of reporters that was really bad. There's been a number of incidents and reports that she fell, and then she had this really long incident where she was out of commission for quite a while, recovering, her husband said. She's on anticoagulants. Um, number one, do we have a right to know? And number two, what do you make of this, this twitching thing that she keeps doing? I'll, keep, I'll run it again. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You're the Certainly. brain surgeon here. I'm just a humble little host. <laughs> It just looks funny. Uh, you know, certainly um, as a person gets older, you know, the number of, of medical conditions uh, that we have to watch for increases, which is one of the reasons that we strongly suggest as you get older that you have at least an annual examination. Uh, if you're going into a very important position like this, it's, it's critical. Right. And uh, that information should be something that we should have access to because it's very important in terms of making that decision. Also recognize that the presidency is not a nine to five job. You yeah. know, it is extraordinarily grueling and you need to, to have everything right. going for you. And also the mental capacity. You know, yeah, there are stressful. standardized me mental examinations, uh, many mental exams, about 30 questions. You can get a very quick assessment in terms of what's going on. These are the kinds of things that should be open to the public in making such a critical decision. All right, let, let me go back to this video, Dr. Siegel, that's on the screen now. We'll put it up again. I mean, it's a violent, violent, repetitive jerking of the head here. Now, you know, you can see it's uncontrollable. Watch the reporter, like, pull back as she, the reporter got scared, and she keeps doing it. What, what is that? Well, it's an involuntary mo movement. I first want to say we just heard <clears throat> from one of the top neurosurgeons in the history of the United States, not just a, a political right. person. Number two, this Secretary Clinton hit her head in 2012. And would it cause this? Well, it would cause the kind of brain damage possibly, possibly. We've been studying this over the last two years. That can have long-term effects. That can have effects on thinking, on memory, on, ga on gait, on how you walk, on dizziness, on balance. That's a possibility that we need to see the records of. We need to see the records so of the anyone, balance. anyone that's around the age of 70. Well, what about the so-called, you know, the, the, how do you say this? The blood clot. The, the, well, you got the blood clot. You've got She's her. She's on lifetime Coumadin. She had a blood clot. She has a family history of stroke. Right. She, that blood clot, as Dr. Carson will tell you, can sometimes be accompanied by a stroke. Not in this case, because an MRI afterwards was negative. But these are the kind of. Do we reasons. know that for sure? Well, we certainly. We don't we, know we that for sure. We certainly learned do we? that from 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 what records we got. But I'd like to see the full record. Yeah, Dr. Samani. Well, I think like everything, it pretty much started based on all the facts that we know. In 2012, she had the concussion. 30% of the patient can have symptoms of mini seizures they can have vertigo they can have forgetfulness is that video we're showing a seizure well maybe you know, it's, it certainly could be uh, I mean, well, watch it right here Let, let's just watch, yeah, I want to watch it closely here watch the reporter back right there the you see the re look and it goes on and on and on that that is to me, bizarre. There's certainly some neurologic issue uh, going on depending on when this tape was taken, but 30% of the patients that have some sort of the post-traumatic injuries, they can have cognitive issues, forgetfulness, sometimes they can forget words, etc. Yeah. But what she has also, let's talk about this blood clot, because that blood clot and the MRI that they got, they actually, it saved her life. They got an MRI, they saw this blood clot near the sinus transfers behind her right ear, and that's Transfer where problems. <coughs> trend as a sinus and that's probably one of the reasons why I think she's probably has some vertigo and that's one of the reasons why she has all these falls sure, that's sure. why the falling takes place exactly sure. she you also know, I, takes, I think uh, yeah. in terms of not speculating I want to be very clear on something I'm more concerned about the video that shows her inability to catch w w expressions and words and changing the topic she was on the video you mean you when just she showed, sort of has these brain right, freezes right, brain well, freezes. let me show the, one of the brain the, freezes the so I can show just to, to be clear yeah. on I talked to a top uh, epilepsy 
epileptologist today, a seizure specialist, one of the top in the country that does not think that's a seizure. So I want to be clear. We need the records to be able to make those determinations. But the one where she was searching for words, well, let's, let's play that. We do not need another big contentious debate about health care. We need to make what we've got work really well and improve it and get the cost out of a upward spiral. Now, I want to mention two other things. It was a little bit of a brain freeze there, but I, I may actually be more sympathetic to that as somebody who's been a public speaker. Um, and that could be all it is. That yeah. could be all it is, I but think, we need more investigation. Dr. Carson, let me give you the last word because we've got to roll. Yeah, there's a lot that can be determined, you know, by medical experts if we have access to the records. And for such an important job, such a position, there's no way we should even consider doing it without having a look at those records. I don't think, do, I don't think we're getting the Wall Street speeches or the speeches, uh, copies of the speeches that she gave to big investors and insurance companies. And I don't think we're getting this either. I think she's going to keep it undercover, um, which I, is probably by think, design. I think Dr. Carson is right. I think the record that we have is the most, the last one was July 2015. It's a year and so after. And that picture that you showed going up the stairs, yeah. people helping. I was you think so it's a vertigo caused so, by the brain? You know, it was I think, an honor to look at yeah. Senator McCain's records. It will You're be, right. That's a good point. It will be an honor to look at her records. It's her life. I want to see it. And, and Donald Trump's as well. All right.